Hi, this is Halal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will solve a numerical on the constraint optimization problem. The question is maximize profit function that is pi is equal to 50x minus 2x square minus xy uh, minus 3y square plus 95y where x and y are the outputs of the goods produced and subject to the constraint that is x plus y is equal to 25 we have to maximize this profit function with respect to the constraint given so we will use the leverages function method that is first of all uh, we know from the pre previous videos this is called objective function this is our objective function and this is called the constraint part so i will write this is this is a constraint first of all uh, the first step in solving this uh, question is first we set this constraint equal to zero so we set this constraint equal to zero so i will write set constraint constraint equal to zero that implies this whole thing will be equal to zero i will write it as 25 minus x minus y is equal to zero second step is uh, to multiply this very constraint by lambda so we will multiply this very um, constraint by lambda so this will become lambda times 25 minus x minus y is equal to zero now we have to form the Lagrange's function that is the Lagrange's uh, uh, function is formed by adding the objective function with the resulting constraint function so our Lagrange's function is that is i will denote it by l that means our Lagrange's function is equal to the objective function which is this uh, very part that is uh, 50 x minus 2 x square minus x y minus 3 y square plus 95 y and we will add it that uh, this very resulting constraint that is uh, lambda times 25 minus x minus y okay now the next step in solving uh, this very Lagrange's function is that is uh, to find the optimal values of x y and lambda we will partially differentiate this very Lagrange's function with respect to firstly by the x then by z sorry y and by the uh, lambda subsequently so first we will partially differentiate this Lagrange's function with respect to x and set it equal to zero that is i will denote l subscript x means partially differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to x so this will become the derivative of x in this 50 x is 1 so this will become here 50 here this 2 will become coefficient now 2 2s are 4 that will become 4 x now 2 minus 1 is 1 minus y here no x is involved here no x is involved here uh, the coefficient uh, the derivative of x is 1 so this will become minus lambda times 1 is minus lambda so this is minus lambda and set it equal to 0 similarly we will di uh, differentiate with respect to y partially now no y is involved here no y is involved here the derivative of y is 1 so this will become minus x so i will write here it is minus x here the derivative of y is 1 so this will become uh, plus 95 so plus 95 so i will write it on this side so we have 95 here similarly here uh, the derivative of y is minus 1 so this will become minus sorry uh, we have this uh, this minus uh, 3y square the derivative of y square is 2y this will become minus uh, 6y so i will write here minus is y i have just uh, rearranged the terms first uh, the derivative of 95 y is 95 so i wrote it here derivative of y square is 2y so 3 into 2 is 6y i write it on this side 
similarly here the derivative of y is 1 so this is minus 1 here minus 1 into lambda is minus lambda so i will write it here minus lambda and set it also equal to 0 okay i hope i am making myself clear here similarly we will differentiate with respect to lambda so we can see in the first first second third fourth fifth term there is no lambda involved so there the derivative here is zero here the derivative of lambda is one so we are with this 25 minus x minus y is equal to zero okay now this is our first equation let us say this is second equation this is third equation here we can see we have the three variables we have x y and lambda now how will we solve uh, these very equations to get the optimal values of x uh, y and lambda what will we do first of all we will eliminate this lambda that means we will subtract the equation first by equation second so i will write equation one minus two will give us this will give us uh, let us see here 50 minus uh, 90 for you mm, this is 50 minus 95 is minus 45 okay now minus 4x minus uh, uh, of the subtraction so minus minus is plus so this is minus 4x uh, plus x so this is minus 3x here similarly minus y minus minus is plus here so minus y plus x y is plus uh, 5y here minus lambda minus minus will become plus so this is minus lambda plus lambda will cancel each other so we are with this equation let this be equation 4 now we are only with the two variables now what will we uh, do here what will we do here to eliminate uh, we will multiply first of all here it is to be seen we have to make the coefficients in equation third and fourth same of any variable so we will make the coefficient of x same as in this uh, in the fourth equation so for that we will multiply equation third by three so multiplying equation third by 3 so this will become 25 into 3 25 into 3 is 75 so I will write it here uh, this is 75 mm, minus 3x minus 3y is equal to 0 and we will add rather we will subtract equation 4 from this equation so i will write here this is minus 45 minus 3x uh, plus 5y is equal to 0 it is to be here uh, sorry it is to be remembered here we are subtracting uh, so this minus 45 will become plus 45 this minus will become plus this plus 5 will become minus 5 so 75 plus 45 is 120 now minus 3x plus 3x so this variable gets cancelled here we are with minus 3y and minus 5y this is minus 8y which is equal to 0 now solving this will give us uh, so this will become minus 8y is equal to transposing on RHS this will become minus 120 now this minus minus guess is cancelled we are here with y is equal to 120 divided by 8 which comes out to be 8 ones are 8 so 8 fives are 40 so the optimal value of y is so we got the value of y is equal to 15 okay now we have to find the value of x what will we do 
we will put y is equal to 15 in equation third so we will put put y is equal to 15 uh, in equation third so we have here 25 so i will write 25 minus x uh, minus the value of y the value of y which we got which is 15 which is equal to 0 now 25 minus 15 is 10 so we have minus x minus 10 is equal to 0 implies minus x is equal to sorry this is plus 10 because 25 minus 15 is plus 10 so this will become minus 10 implies uh, this minus minus gets cancelled so the optimal value of x is 10 so we got the value of x and y now we have to find the value of lambda which is very important in optimization process now how will we find that very uh, variable we will put uh, the value of x and y in either of the first two equations let us say we put it in the equation first so we will put put the value of x and y in first in equation first now the first equation will look like we have 50 50 minus 4 the value of x is 10 so we will write 4 into 10 here minus y the value of y is 15 minus lambda is equal to 0 solving this will become 50 minus 4 tens are 40 minus 15 minus lambda is equal to 0 now 50 minus 40 is minus 10 and minus minus 10 and minus 15 is sorry 15 50 minus 40 is plus 10 plus 10 minus 15 so i will write here 10 minus 15 uh, is equal to 0 so this is minus 5 minus lambda is equal to 0 implies minus lambda is equal to minus 5 this lambda, minus minus gets cancelled and we got the value of lambda is equal to 5 now this lambda has an important uh, usage in the constraint optimization problem this lambda shows us the marginal effect on the solution of the objective function when there is a unit change in the uh, constraint that is when there is unit change in the constant of the constraint uh, this lambda shows us the marginal effect on the objective function that is how the profit will change how the this profit function will change when there is change in the constant of the constraint so let us uh, uh, let us see what does this mean this means if change in to, uh, total profit that is we can say if there is if if sorry i will first write the, uh, these very these two functions so we have the profit function is uh, 50x minus 2 x square minus x y minus 3 y square plus 95 y and we have constraint function that is x plus y is equal to 15 now we got the value of lambda is equal to 15 so here to make sure this is pi so this is our profit function so we got the value of pi is equal to 15 uh, sorry pi is equal to 5 this pi is equal to 5 shows marginal effect on the solution of the objective function that is what will be change in the profit function here if there is one unit change in sorry it is here 25 when there is one unit change in the constraint or the constant of the constraint let us say uh, if if firm produces 24 units only instead of 25 that is if a firm produces only 24 units okay then profit will decrease by 5 units by 5 
that is uh, this lambda shows us uh, the incremental change uh, in the objective function which here is, is obviously the profit function uh, when there is change in the constant of the constraint or simply the change in the constraint that is if uh, the constant of the constraint changes that is if the firm produces only 24 units instead of 25 profit will decrease by 5 so this is here lambda okay or if um, the output increases from 25 to 26 units that is if we have 26 units of output that is this very constraint profit profit will increase by 5 units which is the value of lambda here i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you